All right, I'm back here. This would be like part two of day one or whatever. Just quick thought here. Uh, you know, something that uh, occurred to me that's kind of entertaining. You know, there's a guy out there, I think he's still in business. His name is uh, Sherm. I can't think of his last name, but Sherm Works is the name of his little outfit. And uh, he made these, uh, it's, it's the, it's the, uh, the free spotter that's the name of this little device and actually it's a very good device it's this, it's this uh attachment he put on an olympic bar and he made some later for dumbbells um and he he's provides you with this attachment um and then he provides you with these ropes or like rock climbing ropes and some different things you hang it from your power rack and um you know it actually uh, you know works as a spotting system you know you you grip the bar you pull down this little, it's all very, you know, it's not complicated, it's not awkward, it's very natural the way you do it. It doesn't interfere with your lift, but you know, you, you do your lift, and then if you, when you let go of the grip, it snaps these pulleys um, uh, closed, it's like these little friction locks on this rope on each side, and then and you let go of it, and it just hangs there, you know. Um, and, uh, you know, if you go to Sherm Works or whatever, you know, you can, you can find it. Um, on the internet, so they're making these things for freaking ever, and they work, you know. But um, he um, he decided he's going to get in the thick bar business, you know, in the log bar business. He's going to get in the strong man equipment business, and um, so uh, I had been working with him. I had uh, got one of his free spotters. I got, I think, I actually may have purchased that. I think he may have donated me uh, for review uh, instead of the dumbbell spot system, which was the same concept just for dumbbells. And I actually had some guy show up at my house one time and, and work out with him. I think I, even, I think I gave him the dumbbell spotter because uh, he did it anyway. That's a whole different story. But um, Anyway, Sherm decides he wants to get into the, into the strongman equipment business, you know, so he's going to make these thick bar attachments and he's going to make this log bar. You know, Micah Dawson, uh, Reflex Fitness, kind of was the guy who was making, you know, the log bar. He had the parallel grip log bar uh, that he was selling. Uh, and he had some issues with it at the beginning because it was too short to put in a rack. He didn't make it long enough, you know, the, the actual bar. But it was still a really nice nice piece. Um, but, uh, but Sherm decided he's going to make these things, you know, or something similar. So he, he uh, you know, emailed me. Says, "Hey man, I'm gonna make this this log bar. I want you to review it." So yeah, oh, yeah, sure, man. You know, so I'll take anything free, you know. So he sends me this log bar. Well, it's it's a bar with the handles, but the handles are on the outside of the bar. It's not, you know, the handles not incorporated in the bar. It's like you have the bar and the handles out here attached to it. So you know, I think I ended up. I think I actually had him send it to, Dan Martin ended up with the thing somehow or another. I don't care if he sent it to me first and I sent it to Dan or I told him to send it to Dan or whatever. But Dan Martin ends up with this, with this you know, uh, prototype Shermworks uh, log bar. And, uh, and he can't use it because it's too awkward. The, the center of gravity is all weird on it, everything like that. It's got these two handles that don't really work well. I mean, it looks good until you use it, and then you use it, and you realize it don't work, you know. So, uh, you know, I asked Dan to, you know, prior to him getting this thing, I said, hey, man, write a review, you know, for, for Sherm, you know, because he's, you know, he, he, he wants a review, you know, he, he did this, he did that. So, then I think Dan basically, he says, I ain't going to review it, you know, because the thing sucks, you know. And, uh, well, if it sucks, it sucks. You know, don't, you know, don't write a review that says it sucks. I mean, Sherm stuff is generally good, but I mean, it's just a bad idea. So, uh, next thing I know, you know, Dan Martin, I think, is taking it to the fire department. They're using it to beat down doors. So, um, you know, it, it uh, probably serves a better purpose in, in beating out a door than in uh, being a prototype, you know, log bar or whatever. And, uh, so, so there you go, man. But hey, y'all go visit Shermworks, man. I hadn't talked to that dude in probably, you know, a, a very, very long time. You know, uh, he's a decent guy. I'll give him a plug uh, for no other reason than the fact that, you know, actually what he is selling over there is, is 
a really good product and it, it come to mind and uh, yeah, don't buy his log bar. Uh, I don't think he sells one. If he does, you better make sure. Check with Dan on that, you know, uh, before you buy it. He'll be the expert. You know, if you need to beat down a door, you know, buy whatever he's got. But if you want to, uh, to actually have a log bar, it may not be the best place to get one. But the free spot system that he has, it's the best place to get that. And uh, anybody that's got a, a power rack, that works out by themselves and wants to squat heavy and, and all that kind of stuff. That's the place to go. I actually hung on that, on that free spotter system, the barbell one. I hung, I want to say, every single weight that I could fit, every every 45 and 100 pound weight I could fit on a, on an Olympic bar um, and hung it on that, on that free spotter system in a rack and left it overnight. It hung for, you know, eight or 10 hours, whatever it was and uh, not a problem at all. So uh, it just hung there, you know, and, went, and then the next morning or whatever it was, unloaded and went burnt out and, you know, it, it did just fine. So anyway, there's your plug for Free Spotter. Sure, if you're out there, you know, hey, you still got your back. And uh, hey, y'all take care.